Howdy, we're making another video. You ready? I want to talk about a couple different topics. I started my prep for the 2016 North Americans. Talk about the diet a little bit. Talk about supplementation. And a big announcement at the end of the video that everybody already knows about. So by no means am I the expert nor do I want to be looked at as an expert or some guru. But a lot of people ask me a lot of questions, so I figured I'd get them out there and get some tips. I figure what would I want to see in a video or read about? I want to see the truth, right? I'm not a sponsored athlete. I own my own production company here in my hallway. I got my phone taped to my wall. So I can say whatever I want. I've been around for a little bit, you know, a little bit of time, so I think I have some knowledge. So I already made the announcement that I'm doing the show. So I gotta play the humble guy, right? It's just an honor to be part of the show. I'm just gonna enjoy the journey and the process because you know you're gonna lose, right? Could have been the other guy that didn't say anything. And if you did good, then you post it. So you look like the badass, right? So I'm gonna be the humble guy. All right, a little bit about the contest diet. I do eight meals a day. That's what I did in my off season. Initially dropped 340 calories. I started at a leaner point, was already doing a little bit of cardio. Up the cardio a tiny bit. Brought some calories down. I do multiple protein sources. I do two egg meals a day with yolks. One lean beef meal, top round beef. I do a flounder meal and the rest is chicken. Believe in multiple amino acid protein sources. I think you'll get better results. Carbohydrates are your basic sweet potato and rice. I believe in fruit. God didn't screw up this carbohydrate source. You don't have to go to bodybuilding.com because they got the secret carb. God did just fine on the fruit. Now, I know the science goes to glycogen refilling in the liver rather than the muscles. Well, it fills up my muscles just fine, okay? I get energy from it just great, I believe. Especially when you're in a depleted state, it's good to have a nutritious carb source. Vitamins, minerals, and fiber. So I keep fruit in. I'll do strawberries, blueberries, pineapple, uh, a little bit of banana, and that will eventually come down. Fats or egg yolks and peanut butter, they'll come down as I go. I'll probably... I adjust, I take down carbohydrates. There's a point where I can't take carbs anymore because it doesn't work for me. Then that's when I drop the fats because it has the highest amount of calories. Cardio will probably go up throughout. Now, if you got a contest prep coach and you get a plan from A to Z telling you weeks one through two to do this, three and four do this, adjust cardio up and down this, you're already in the shitter. That doesn't work. The body doesn't work that way. It needs to be, I might not make an adjustment for two weeks. I might make one midweek. I can't have a set plan. Will you get results? Yeah, but it's not going to be ideal. Everybody's different. And everybody will say that too. Well, everybody's different how they react. Well, we're not that different. This guy over here isn't a bear. This guy over here isn't a turtle. We're all human beings. Okay? So a good contest prep coach will be with you every step of the way. Okay? Because if not... You just paid a lot of money for a good old-fashioned copy and paste. So same thing with the gear, enhanced athletes out there. You can't plan a cycle. It's the same thing as the diet. You can have initial starting point from knowledge and what have people have done and worked in the past, but it's the preserve lean muscle tissue. You don't need a ton. And then also you don't want to take more than you need. You go up as you go as the calories drop. You see what I'm saying? You can't have it all planned out. You'll get more side effects. You might not need all that. And then there was also this guy on my news feed on the Facebook thing, right? Doing a contest prep. Had a guru. Everything was going fine. And then all of a sudden, we got the assault of cheat meals. That's all he talked about. I'm eating a whole pizza today. I don't know what's going on, bros. Right? My metabolism is racing like a locomotive. Okay, I got to eat this pizza just to maintain weight. I'm losing weight too fast. Whole trays of muffins were next. Pizza and muffins. Now he's not eating any healthy food. His guru's like, I don't know what's going on. Eat whatever you want. How about increase your good food, back off of the thyroid, and how about the DMP? You got fireworks going off in your body. Is it that you're a Superman? Or is it all the shit you're taking? So now you're trying to hold on, you're fighting yourself, and you're trying to hold on to lean muscle tissue with muffins and pizza. What In what world is this good? I had to drop the guy. I couldn't take it anymore. 
little off topic. I want to talk about supplementation real quick. I hate supplements. Working at GNC for six years, most people thought the supplements were the magic and the food was the supplement. They would eat nothing. A peanut butter sandwich. I love this one. I ate a peanut butter sandwich today, but I'm taking the whey and I got the pre-workout. And what creatine should I take to get jacked? It doesn't work that way. Supplements are the least important. So, but the ones I have found that I like, I like Glycofuse by Gaspari. The least important supplement to take. I take it during the workout. It's a highly branched cyclic dextrin carbohydrate. I, it's a lifeline as it get close, closer and closer to the show. I destroy myself during my workout, even if my diet's perfect. 25 carbs of that will fuel me. I won't go hypoglycemic. And they'll be out of my system by the time I do cardio. Most people don't need it, and it can actually ruin your fat loss. So you have to be honest with yourself. Do you really need sugar during your workout? But I like it. It has a low osmolarity to it. it means it clears the stomach ultra fast, gets to the muscle, unlike a dextrose or a maltodextrin that will just sit in the stomach. I use the high, a creatine hydrochloride. I've always used monohydrate. Told everybody it's the cheapest, most studied. Creatine is creatine. Creatine attached to a hydrochloride, it's going to do the same thing. Hydrochloride is going to lower the pH, mixes in water instantly, and also it's going to make it more acidic. It absorbs in the intestines better, works with your body, no upset stomach. And then also pre-workouts. I've taken more pre-workouts that have ruined my workout 90% of the time. I get nauseous, fatigue. I've taken ones and that made me more tired after I took it. Heart palpitations, loss of strength. Guy at the gym, a bodybuilder, recommended one. I thought I'd pick it up because he recommended it. This Dust V2. Now, I'm not sponsored by any company. I don't know anything about this company. Quite frankly, I don't give a damn about the company. It's Blackstone Labs. This shit right here, this is amazing shit, man. This stuff is the shit, all right? Now, what I look for in a pre-workout, I don't care about a pump. I get a pump no matter what. I think that's diet and being hydrated. I want focus, clean energy and focus, and that's what this gives me, man. It's the most amazing stuff. I do the one scoop. Stuff is the best. So I don't like supplements, but I'll give credit due where credit is due. So that's it with the supplements. And I'll, I'll do aminos, all Gaspari's aminos, um, just during my workout. I don't do it throughout the day. A lot of people sip aminos throughout the day. It does release insulin to a, a, a degree. It could hinder fat loss. And also most of them are... Uh, Fortify with artificial sweeteners and they found that that tricks your mind could release insulin also So you might be hindering fat loss most people do it because it tastes good. Well, there's nothing free You can't have your muffin and eat it too. All right, so I would skip that plus it's Amino acids if you're eating enough protein, you don't even really need them But as bodybuilders were excessive. I take it during the workout, right? So That's that Now the big announcement is Kevin Lavroni coming back to the Olympia stage 2016 after a long time off coming out of retirement he's done 64 shows 24 first place finishes 18 second places four-time runner-up Mr. Olympia went to the doctors been checked out body of a 24 year old he's 51 now he's coming back a rare genetic freak he used to take a lot of time off and then grow into a show how can he do on the stage I think he could do pretty good, but time will tell. We haven't seen him stand next to a lot of these guys. Shoulders, arms, upper body from the front could destroy anybody up there. If I could make a, a critique, um, who am I to make a critique for Kevin Lavroni? But his quads, a little bit more fullness, sweep back a little bit more thickness just to be able to stand next to guys like Phil Heath. I hope he knocks the skittles out of everybody up there. That would be awesome. I think it's a win-win no matter what happens. It's good for the sport. All the fans that have been lost, um, I think are going to be more excited and come back to the sport. I think if he does good, he'll have everybody look at what they're doing and realize we've got to go back to hard work. And more isn't better to bring back that condition. I think the 90s had the best combination of freak factor and also condition. And I believe they posed better also. So I think it's going to be exciting. And I hope he does good. 
And that's all I got for today. Everybody have a fantastic day. Smash some weights.